in this session we are going to discuss how to connect your physical computer to a GNS setup like let's take an example you have an existing GNS topology and you may want to simulate to connect your physical computer to the LAN maybe in the LAN or any specific physical network okay so I'll show you how to use this one even you can try these specific scenarios to connect your real GNS network to internet as well where you can use your existing physical interface can also be connected to the internet so in this example I'm going to simulate like I already have a GNS program which is used where I'm going to simulate the routers and I'm going to connect that particular router connecting to my physical computer through loopback interface okay so let's get started with this one so the first step to connect your physical PC so that we can access some specific services like you can test a lot of test a lot of things like you can there's some AAA configurations like you can you can do a lot of configurations relating to this if you are connecting to the computer so I'm going to create a Microsoft loopback adapter so we need to create a logical interface uh, to connect this one even you can use the existing physical interface also to connect so I'm not going to use that one I'm going to use a physical loopback interface first here so to add the loopback interface open up the control panel so device manager so I'm getting into my device add legacy devices and then uh, install the hardware from the list and in that list we are going to select our network cards so network adapters in that network adapters uh, we need to select the Microsoft loopback adapter so I'm using Windows 8 machine so depending upon the type of the operating system you are using these options may be slightly varying depending upon the versions of different Microsoft operating systems okay but almost it is a similar one so I'm going to select the loopback adapter which is a logical interface it's just like a logical LAN card so I'm going to select next and once I click next it is going to start installing the uh, loopback adapter so once once I click next it is going to install create a new loopback interface so I'm not going to click on next once you do that you may need to restart your machine in order for that particular loopback interface to be identified inside your genus <coughs> so I suggest you to ensure that uh, you are going to restart your machine once we finish this setup okay so I'm just cancelling it because already I have a pre-configured loopback which I did already so so that I don't need to restart my device if I go to my network places properties you can see this Ethernet 2 it is actually my loopback interface address so what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the IP address on that interface so as per the diagram you can see so as per my diagram I'm going to use 192.168.1.1 and the gateway address is 192.168.1.100 which is my router here okay so I'm going to assign the normal IP address thing similar to uh, how we do in a normal PC okay it's already configured so I'm just clicking OK so now this specific part is ready as of now now the next thing we need to configure the basic setup for the GNS okay so let's get started with the basic uh, setup so I'm going to take my GNS program in that program I'm going to take one router here so which is my router one it can be any router so you can just use any one of the router here so this is my router here and to add the physical computer we need to uh, take the cloud option here so in general in the devices you'll find one option called cloud or host you can use any one of these options so we need to drag and drop if you're using the older version of GNS probably you'll find this cloud type now we need to ensure that we configure this one like if I try to provide a connection between the router interface the router is not having any interface so I'll just add the interface on the router so right click on the router configure I'm going to add one fast Ethernet interface so that I can connect it to my physical computer so even you can add a switch through switch also we can connect so I'm going to take my connection here and when I use F0 by 0 if I try to connect on the cloud it says no interface is configured because we just uh, created a cloud which is which is just like your physical computer but we don't have any interface configured because we need to integrate or add that interface we need to tell that uh, by on this cloud here 
So I'm going to right click on it, configure. So when you click on it, you'll see this option here. So probably here you'll see the list of network interface cards which are created in your devices. As of now, I'm just using only one because I disable the other interface, which is my LAN interface. So if you want, you can just try to enable it. So if I enable, in that case also, I should be able to see the interface. So you need to identify that particular loopback interface name is here. And then we need to click select that one and add here. So once you add, now this particular cloud will be identified with your this particular physical interface. It means it is using this physical interface here. And then apply and then OK. So once you do this, the next part is if I try to provide the connection once again from the router connecting to my cloud, you can see it is going to show me the option. This interface name is exactly the uh, loopback interface name. So once I provide the connection, now you can see there is a connection. So I'm going to start my router. And already on this cloud, if you remember, we just configured some IP addressing here. So I'm just waiting for my device to come up. So let me take the console screen of my router so that I can uh, do some basic configurations as per our diagram. So if you remember, as per our diagram, we decided to assign the IP address as 192.168.1.100. So I'm getting into my interface, IP address. So make sure that both are in the same network so that I, they can communicate with each other. So make the interface up, done. So if I verify my interface, you can see this is the only interface which I'm using. And this interface is connecting to my LAN here. So once I do this, I'll just try to ping to my interface in my LAN, uh, the computer, the loopback adapter, which we just connected, it is 1.1. You can see it's, it's pinging. So you're able to ping and similar way, if you want, you can try from your physical computer. You can get into your command prompt and you can try IP config command. So you can verify the IP address of your interface here. And even if I want, if your firewall, everything is disabled in that case, you can see you're able to ping to the connected interface. So this is how you can simply connect your uh, loopback interface to the LAN. So either you can connect your loopback interface or even this interface can be your LAN interface or also this interface can be your interface which is connecting to your internet, like maybe your wireless interface which I'm using here. And once you connect it, you can, you can really use your particular, that particular GNS can be simulated by connecting to any one of the physical interface in the LAN.